so today I'm going to do a video of 25 scents that I thought were hoard worthy from Bath and Body Works. So these are scents that I bought plenty of backups of. So to me, hoard worthy is like 10 plus because I always buy a lot of scents that I like. And so I don't know if I still have 10 of all of these, but I've used them over the years. But they are ones that I definitely bought plenty of backups of. So let's go ahead and get started because there are 25 of them. So the first one... I have, this is blueberry sugar pancakes. I'm actually working on this right now, so that's why it's almost empty. You will see this in my empties next month. This is sugar blueberries, fresh pancakes, and caramel cream drizzle. So they brought this out for two years, and then that was it. So hopefully it comes back one day because it's such a nice, sweet blueberry scent. Like, it's absolutely delicious. I don't really smell pancakes in this, like no breadiness or anything, but I love this one. I actually like this one better than Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, which people still rave about, but like I prefer this one. It's more blueberry heavy, not pancake heavy. Next we have Pink Watermelon Blast. So they did bring this out. This is from 2022, I think. Yes. And then in 2023, they brought out Groovy Watermelon, but it was the same scent. So this one has scent notes of juicy pink watermelon sugared strawberry blossom and lime zest and this one smells like watermelon candy so this one sold out super fast at my store so i think i got a few of these but i have mostly groovy watermelon like when they brought that one back i made sure to stock up because i love this scent it's absolutely amazing it's one of the best scents that they've ever made in my opinion and i love it next up we have sunset glow so this one came out in 23. I have more of the packaging of the original one that had like the really pretty like sunset on it. It's absolutely stunning, but I found this one first, so I just grabbed this one. This is fresh coconut, sparkling cherry, seltzer, creamy moonflower, caramelized vanilla. This one is such a beautiful gourmand, but it's also like a perfumey scent. Like it's just such a beautiful scent. I love this one. Like it's sweet but it's floral like it's just really really pretty a lot of people say it smells like sol de janeiro's Chirosa 62 and it's similar it does but i don't think they're not exactly the same obviously this one has cherry and stuff in it so they're not the same but they're in like the same family and i love this one and this is like the super cute packaging with the straw inside next is hope winter peach marshmallow this has sit notes of velvet peach vanilla meringue and creamy jasmine this is one of the best peach scents that they have ever made. Like peach scents are hard and a lot of them are fails, but like this one is amazing. It is super sweet and like fluffy, like that marshmallow in there just makes it absolutely delicious. And I love this. It has like a little bit of jasmine, but this is not a floral by any means. Like this is mostly just sweet, fluffy peach and it is beautiful. Next is bubblegum pop. This is gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. This was a semi-annual sale scent. This came out in semi-annual sale of 22. And they didn't give us a body lotion or body cream to go with it. They just gave us a shower gel. But this one is amazing. It is such a fun scent. It like, just makes you happy when you smell it. It smells just like pink bubble gum, but it has a little bit of citrus in it. Like it's just such a good scent. And I knew I had to stock up on this one because I figured we'd probably never see it again and we haven't seen it since. I'm still hopeful that one day they will give us like a full collection in it because it's so delicious and it's just fun. Next we have Wrapped in Vanilla. This came out for Body Care Day in 2022. This is Soft Vanilla, Velvet Sugar, and Chantilly Creme. This is like the best vanilla that they have ever made. It is sweet. It is gourmand, it is absolutely delicious, but yet it's still kind of sexy. Like, it's just such a good vanilla. It's so pretty. And I'm glad I stocked up on this one. I really thought that this would come back because it was so, so popular. But we haven't seen it back yet, and it's kind of shocking, honestly. Like They bring back all these other scents that are just like, okay, but then they don't bring back the ones that were, like, super popular. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what kind of show they're running down there. But I love this one. And if you haven't got to smell this one, I really hope that you can find it because it's absolutely delicious if you love vanillas. Next, we have Christmas cookies. This one came out originally in 2019 and it came out for like three years and then they just stopped. Totally weird that it didn't come out at Christmas this year. I don't understand. So this is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. It smells 
just like cookies. It is such a good gourmand scent. It is sweet. It is long lasting. It is absolutely delicious. And I love the scent. And I'm hoping that maybe this year was just a fluke. Like they're going to bring it out again. I don't know. I'd be really disappointed if I don't ever see Christmas cookies come back. Next, we have white pumpkin and chai. This came out in 2021, I do believe. Yes. And it came out for uh, three years. We got it for three years and then we didn't see it this fall. But this is such a good scent. It doesn't have scent notes on it though. But I absolutely love the scent and this is my favorite fall scent. It is absolutely delicious. It's gourmand. It is so sweet, a little spicy. Like it's just a really beautiful scent. Next we have strawberry snowflakes. They did bring this one back this winter. This is a juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. And this really does just smell like a cold strawberry. It is so delicious. It's sweet, but it's like has that cold from the bergamot. Like it's just a really good scent. It's really pretty. It mixes well with so many different perfumes. And I'm really happy that they brought this one back. I hope this one continues to be a staple in their like winter lineup. But you know, as Bath and Body Works goes, you just never know. So I made sure I got the ones that I wanted. Next we have Summer Melody. This one just came out one year and never has returned. This is Golden Honeydew and Bronze Vanilla. And this is like the most perfect summer scent. It is sweet, but it's fruity, it's uncomplicated. And I've always said it, like if I was a scent, I would be Summer Melody. Uncomplicated, easy going, easy to wear. Like that's just me, that's my personality. And I love Summer Melody. I'm glad I stocked up on it when I did because like I said, hopefully they bring it back, but you just never know. This one's absolutely perfection. The next one I have, this is Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This has scent notes of strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, and bubbly Prosecco. This is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents ever. Top five, definitely. It is sweet, but it's a little bit floral. Like it's just really, really beautiful. Like the strawberry puree in this is amazing. Like it's such a beautiful strawberry scent. And then that little bit of buttercups, flowers, is just beautiful and then the like bubbly prosecco like this one is just such a good scent and i hope they bring it back one day but we haven't seen it in a while and this one came out in 22 so it's been about two years and we still haven't seen it come back hopefully maybe they'll rename it and bring it back next up we have vanilla confetti sparkle this is also confetti cake pop so when confetti cake pop came out it was in 2020 it was right before the pandemic and I bought a few of them. I didn't buy a ton because I wasn't really into buying a bunch of backups back then. And I was really sad that it didn't come back. You know, we waited and waited and waited. And finally in 22, they brought this one out at summertime, which to me, this isn't really a summer scent. This is very like a heavy gourmand. So I don't want to wear this one in the heat. This is creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. Has the exact same notes. They just gave it a new name but it's such a good vanilla cake scent. It really does just smell like a vanilla cake and it's absolutely delicious. Next we have coconut cream pie. We got this one two years in a row. This one came out in 22. So originally it came out in 21 and we haven't seen it since, but this is probably one of the best coconut fragrances. It's toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Like you can smell every single note that is in this. It really does just smell like a coconut pie. And this is a really, really strong fragrance also. So I'm still hoping that they do like a gourmand line. Like we haven't had a lot of gourmands lately, which I know a lot of people don't love gourmands, but I do. Like I'm a gourmand girl through and through. Gourmands and fruity scents are my weakness. But I'm glad I stocked up on this one. I did stock up on it when it first came out. And then I bought a few more when it came out again. So this is the newer packaging, the second packaging. Next up we have Midsummer Dream. So this was actually a signature scent that they brought out in 2021. So this was still during all the pandemic craziness. So like I feel like this one didn't get the love that it deserved. Like it was gone as fast as it showed up. But I'm glad I got my hands on it. They did bring it back in summer semi-annual sale of 22. But this has scent notes of salted pear fresh nectarine and seaside lily this is one of my favorite fragrances it is like the perfect sweet floral 
and is perfect for summertime. Like it's not heavy. It's not too much. Like it's just absolutely beautiful. The nectarine in this is amazing. Like they need more scents with nectarine in them. They really do because they do it so well. Maybe it's the pair together too. Like that little bit of salt. Like it's just perfection. Next we have Love Cotton Candy Champagne. This came out in the same collection as the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. This has scent notes of bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. And it's just a really fun, sweet scent. Sweet strawberry scent. I really love this one. It's easy to wear. It pairs really well with like a lot of perfumes. So I'm happy that I stocked up on this one also. And of course, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. If you've watched any of my bin videos, you know that I have plenty of ice lemon pound cake. So this one has set notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. And this smells just like a lemon dessert. It is absolutely delicious. They did such a good job on this. The only complaint is it's a little bit light, but you know what? I have so many of them, I can spray it from, you know, sunrise to sunset, and that's fine. Like, I just love this one, and I was so excited when they brought this out. Like, no one knew this was coming. It was such a surprise. Like, it was just one of the best days, one of the best Bath & Body Work days, and I just love it. I'm happy that it's coming back out again this spring so that people that didn't get a chance to smell it the first time will finally get their hands on it because this was an online exclusive. So not everybody checks online. Not everybody buys stuff online. So I think a lot of people probably missed out on it because of that. But this one is delicious, and if you can get your hands on it, definitely try it. This one is new. This is Sweetheart Cherry. This is Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, and Vanilla. This scent is beautiful. I love this scent. It is so easy to wear. It is just perfection. Like, I just can't say enough good things about it. And, of course, it's light, which, I mean, a lot of Bath & Body Works scents are, but they're body mist, so you know what? This spray 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 and I love this one I'm looking forward to getting to wear this probably this summer and I just love it, it smells so so good next up we have among the clouds this is wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds like it's just so simple but it's so beautiful like it's just really sweet and just like a little bit of berries and I just really like it it's really easy to wear it's not offensive it pairs well with so many perfumes if you want to just add like some sweetness to it. There's... Next up is Beach Nights. So they actually finally brought this back out in 22. This originally came out, I think, in 18. Can't remember. But this is such a good scent. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. I love this scent. Like it's just like a beachy vanilla but it's really sweet. Like I just, I don't know. It's just an easy wear for me and it's really nice for summer because in the heat, you definitely don't want to be wearing things that are super like suffocating, if that makes sense. Like I just, I really enjoy this scent. It's light, it's beautiful, it's sweet. I love it. And of course, it wouldn't be a hoarding video if I didn't show strawberry pound cake. <laughs> this is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I love strawberry pound cake. I will wear strawberry pound cake every day in my life and never get upset about it. Like it is the perfect strawberry shortcake scent. It is the most beautiful gourmand. My favorite scent that they make. I just love this scent. And I know people get tired of it because it comes out all the time, but there's a reason that it does. And it's because people love it, like myself. So hopefully they never get rid of this. I would love if they ever gave us a perfume in this. I would be ecstatic. Next is Champagne Sprinkles. This came out in 2021 at semi-annual sale for the summer. This has scent notes of sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, rainbow sprinkles. This smells like raspberry frosting. This is one of the best scents that they have ever made and they don't bring it back. It's just kind of like another wrapped in vanilla. I just love this scent. I had body creams in this, but I had to get rid of them because they went bad. So, But I have plenty of sprays so that's fine because they didn't give us a body lotion in this it only came in a body cream i really hope that they bring this back rename it whatever they need to do just give me the scent like i love this one this one is so good up next is sweet whiskey this has scent notes of golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries so this one has came out quite a few years in a row 
like at least four, I think. This one is from 22. And I think this is like the third rendition of it. So it came out in 2020 first, I think. And I love the scent. It took a while for this one to grow on me. I didn't like it when it first came out. But I got a mini of it for some reason. I think I had a coupon. And I finally used the mini and I just fell in love with it. So when it came out the next year, I was like, okay, I'm going to stock up. And that was this year, the 22. And I love it. It's just a really strong scent. You can smell the berries, but really you get like that vanilla whiskey. And it's just beautiful. I love the scent. So up next, we have Autumn Drive. So this one came out in the fall of 22. This is Wild Raspberry Warm Amber and Vanilla Birch. And I love this scent. To me, this just smells like a sweet raspberry. I don't get any of like the birch or... Maybe a little bit of the amber, but like mostly just raspberry. And I love this scent. We've never seen this one back, so I'm glad I got the ones that I did. Next up, this is Raspberry Jam Donut. We love her. Wild Raspberry Jam, Powdered Sugar, and Warm Fluffy Donut. This one came out in 2021. And I stocked up on this one a lot. I waited until semi-annual sale, and it was like $3.50 or something like that, like the sprays. And I'm just like, okay, if no one else is going to buy them, then I guess I am. And I bought a lot of them. I want to say like 25 bottles of them or something. Something crazy. And you know what? I don't regret any of it because this has never came back. And this is such a good scent. It really does just smell like a raspberry-filled donut. I don't know how they did it, but they did. And it's delicious and so the last one I have this is cotton candy cloud so this one has came out in different versions over the years it started as boardwalk taffy and then it became cotton candy clouds and then like two years ago they released a whitberry meringue they all smell exactly the same so this is spun sugar pink berries and whipped vanilla it really is just the perfect cotton candy scent it's sweet cotton candy and it's delicious and I love this scent. I'm glad that they keep bringing this out. I hope they continue to bring this out. It usually comes out in like a semi-annual sale. So hopefully we'll see it again soon. But it's absolutely delicious and it pairs so well with so many different things. And like the packaging is always super cute. Okay, so there it is. That is my 25 hoardworthy scents from Bath & Body Works. Let me know, what are some of your hoardworthy scents? Obviously mine are like fruity gourmands. Like that's just me. I'm a gourmand girl, fruity girl. I just love it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.